Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Mountain Jewel. Today I'm going to walk you through our off-grid outdoor shower setup. So first things first, we have to talk about where the water comes from. This is our well pump head. And before we had a solar panel, which you can see right there, that powered a solar pump, we use this, which is a simple pump. That is a hand pump, and that worked really well for us. So we automate via the sun's rays the pump to go on, and then it fills this tank up. This tank was given to us by Homestead Rescue. If any of you watched that show on the Discovery Channel last year, this is the aqueduct that they set up for us, but that is a story for another time. Once this tank, and it's over 300 gallons, is full, we move to the next step. Now we're in with our setup here. We have water from the tank coming from this. We turn it on that valve. Now you can hear the water dripping. Next step is to hook up this pump, which is a 24 volt pump. So we have two batteries here and they are both hooked up to the solar panel that you saw over there. So they are charged by the sun as well. And the pump is hooked up to both the positive and the negative. And we turn the pump on each time using a circuit breaker, which just acts as a switch. So we flip it up. So I'll turn the water on again, and then I will turn the pump on. Now the water's coming out quickly. Now that the water's coming out, we're on to the next step, which is an on-demand propane water heater, which you can see in the shower right here. And that is hooked up to a propane tank. There's a button underneath it that I can turn on. You'll hear a little click. And that is the propane igniting. We can manage the amount of water flow and the heat from these buttons. And now we have hot water. I decided to go with a pretty luxurious shower head to make things super nice for off-grid living. It's We didn't have a shower for the first couple years, so now every every bit of water is, is uh, is very well appreciated. So we just set this up using some extra metal that we had from a building. And also these are, this is cedar from our land. That is also, if you'll remember, on the solar shed. So these were just scraps as well. And I'll walk around here a little bit. So you can see the whole setup. Our outdoor kitchen is on the other side of that. So we've really tried to use the best of this space. And here I've put in a little water garden that has um, some bee balm, hibiscus, uh, a rose, some wild basil, and some other stuff to make use of the water. It drips off from there and also from the sink in the kitchen. So in short, this is our off-grid water setup and we love it. I have to say that it's pretty easy to get going in the spring and it's so nice to have hot water on demand. You really can't live on the homestead without it. I mean, like I said, the first couple of years we lived without a shower at all and learned the, the beauty again of having hot running water. Nothing really beats it.